down under the canoe. There he is. That's a beauty. Like I haven't seen land in about an hour and a half. So I'm just going by my compass bearing. It's a weird feeling. Thick fog. And we're going that way. <laughs> oh man. Welcome to Smallwood. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, we uh, finally made Smallwood and our reward is a huge brook trout. Now we're just going to take it easy and take in the evening uh, underneath the sheet. So small wood is absolutely raging out there now. What an angry beast. Uh, so we're not going nowhere. It's just after 5.30 in the morning. Uh, picked up. When, when night set in, it just started blasting with the wind from the northwest. It's right at us. So as you can tell, small wood's not to be messed with. So I don't know when we're going to get out of here, hopefully sooner than later. At noon hour, winds are supposed to relax a little bit. So we're just out from camp here now, uh, having a look for a few berries. And uh, we're 100 yards or so away, and there's another loaf of beer. Crap. That's the size of a load, isn't it, Saku? So the wind is uh, still whipping out here. It's midday. Looks like around supper hour, it's supposed to uh, fade, these strong westerly winds. But they're also supposed to pick right back up tomorrow. We got to get out of here this evening. If not, we're going to be trapped for another day. God knows how much longer after that. With fresh sign of black bears around camp, I strap our food to a nearby tree and add a little alarm system. And that's all of our food. The finishing touches will be something like this. So that comes off, 
makes a noise. I always like to think with Sacco around, marking our territory. Uh, I'm not too worried about beers, but you can't get too cozy either. So last night, I finally removed the better part of my fingernail. And that's been hanging by a thread now ever since we left. Been constantly treating it with polysporin and trying to keep it wrapped early when it was still fresh and hanging. Looks like the worst is over. And I think I may have staved off any type of medical situation. On small wood, prevailing west winds are an obstacle. Knowing of this before the expedition, we welcome the challenge. So we've just pushed off there now. The gate's only open for us here late in the evening. It's close on 7 p.m. One way to beat it is to paddle during the evening hours, and even later if the moon is bright. We're just trying to make some ground with the moon guiding us. We're slowly picking along the shoreline here now. Just past uh, 10 p.m. Not sure how long we're gonna go for. I'd like to chip away a few more kilometers. It's hard to get off the lake when it's just beautiful out here. It's hard to get off the lake. Millions of stars. Big dipper right above us. Uh, this is crazy. That's a wrap. We got over yesterday evening. I paddled 16, 17 kilometers. Kasaka, you didn't have a paddle, did you? The doggy paddle. So the old canoe, She's been through a lot so far. The upriver grind, uh, shoot her to bits. The manufacturer put on these keel strips here, the front and back. And by the looks of them, broken off there, cracked off here. It was a good decision. This is the front end. Took the big beating. Look here. I mean, it's almost worn, was well, not worn through, but all the green paint is gone. If that strip wasn't there, I'd say we may be leaking up front. But uh, no, this thing is a machine. She's tough, she's stable, and she moves well in the water. Nothing bad to say about it. It's August 26th now. The Labrador fall is setting in quick. And up here, it's fall to winter in a hurry. It's only seven degrees right now. Last night, it went down to one. Haven't seen flies in a couple days. So, uh, I'll take it. I got the warm clothing with me. Time to push onward. This lake is big like an ocean. It's the 10th largest freshwater body in Canada. The 
If we want to safely navigate 200 kilometers to its western shores, we must take advantage of the shelter provided by the hundreds of islands within it. Today, we use them to work our way northwest. the line out, try for a troll, oh, it's fish, it's fish, watch out Zach. He's down under the canoe, there he is. We got supper tonight, Saku. That's a beauty. The wind's pushing us back here. We're losing a bit of ground, but that's okay. Because we picked up a few extra calories, didn't we, Saku? So, we're just gonna pull in for a little break now barren section of an island. It's pretty desolate looking. Been in this canoe now for five hours. Stretch the legs out, will we, Saku? I'm also gonna clean that trout up too. This land before us is heartless and forgives few mistakes. Its glacial scraped terrain is a wide open rolling plateau, decorated with eskers and exposed bedrock. Obvious reminders of its creation some 15,000 years ago, as the last ice age retreated. Here storms often hit quick and lift dangerous white caps on the open lake. However, on this afternoon, she smiled. The loons are putting on a show here now, aren't they, Saku? I'm hoping for another late trout. Like there's points now where I look out to the west of me. There's a few more islands beyond them. Looks like an ocean. Now I got a big one on. Now I got a big guy. Such a big lake, it could be anything. Jeez. Wow. Oh, cow. He just want to come up. He doesn't want to come up. I want to see him. Ah. Saku, man. This thing is a monster. Stay still, Sack. Oh my god, it's just a really big lake trout, like really big. Oh. Easy buddy. Easy, Dad. Easy buddy. 
Easy, buddy. Come on, we'll get him over here now. Hold on. God. God. It took my lure, too. I tried to get him out of gill. He made one flick and he was gone. Well, I need to line back out there. My reel is a bit smashed up from being thrown around, so I think I may switch reels. But for now, I'm going to cast this out and see if I can get something else on. Oh man, the heart's still pounding. again. Here we go. Round two. This time I'm getting him. Take your time. He's not as big. Not near as big, I don't think. He's decent though, Saku. He's decent. I don't know. He's big. Seven pounds. It's seven o'clock now. It's starting to cool off, which is nice. I'd like to paddle for another hour or so, but beyond here, some of the islands start to look cliff-like on the edges and. I don't know if we'll be left without a campsite. And uh, the lake really opens up just beyond where we're, we are right now. So, I think I'm gonna pull in and make camp. We got some fish to eat, don't be second. All right, Saku, there's yours, bud. Have at her. Today, there's thick fog out there. So once we get going, we're gonna have to be very careful navigating. That right there is the point we're headed off to now. 
and then it's right straight up this shore. We're kind of out of these islands down here. Straight up there, and right about there is our crossing. Close on 10 kilometers to the other side. And I gotta switch maps when I get there. I think we're in for a good day. I've hooked something here. Uh, it's not super big. It's a laker. Just over a pound, I'd say. Anyways, that's number two on the day. We're doing good with the trout. That's gonna stretch our food supply out a lot longer. Get in there. I keep them in a dry sack. Keeps them somewhat out of the sun, and every now and then you rinse a bit of water in there. Cools them off, and then put it under my seat. So uh, it's in the shade. So we just left a little peninsula of land behind us, stopped in for lunch. Well, I'll call it a late afternoon snack now. It's going on five o'clock. Of course, there's some, there's a big crossing on Smallwood we have to make right through clear cut open water. It's roughly 10 kilometers. That's what I'm hoping to do the next good paddling day because we should be close to it this evening. I made a big change of plans. The lake is just absolutely smooth. There's barely a ripple. I checked the weather gadget. It looks good up until 2 or 3 in the morning when the winds pick up. I'm going to go right across the entire way to the other side of Smallwood. 17 kilometers. Looks like there's a bit of wind uh, tomorrow for sure, big gusts. So it won't happen then. And God knows what's going to happen the days after that. I'm just going to do it now and get it over with. I can see actually there's a mountain across the way. So we're heading at that. It's still like anything could pick up at any point in time. The winds could change in a minute. The weather, the voice could be wrong. But I'm just going with it here and it's gotta happen. We gotta make a crossing 10 kilometers, so what's another seven? Still going here. Almost a couple hours in. A big fog picked up so I can't see the mountain in front of us no more. So I'm just going by my compass bearing. Like I haven't seen land in about an hour and a half. Absolutely amazing out here in the middle though. It's, it's a weird feeling. Thick fog. We're going that way. Almost there a second. One sec, you. Let's go. And that's where we came from. That's a long haul in a 15 foot canoe. I rolled the dice, I went with my gut, and here we are. We gotta set up a camp and let everyone know we're okay. There's some light rain, 
and gales are starting to brew here this morning. So makes me even more thankful that we made the crossing yesterday evening. What a giant to cross small wood that was. Turned out to be just over 18 kilometers we covered. Just got a little weird when we couldn't see land for about an hour and a half. That was kind of made me panic somewhat. <laughs> A shampoo, not energy gel. <laughs> Your turn, Saku. Good boy. <laughs> that a boy, Zach. So this morning I just want to show you how much variation Smallwood can have in its conditions in at one point in time. Just because of the, the so many bays and peninsulas and coves and islands. Right here in front of our camp it's pretty calm and relaxed. A uh, little ripple, nothing serious. Now at the same time, out behind the shelter of that little peninsula the lake is furious. So here this morning, uh, we're just about at the halfway mark across Smallwood. Feeling good today, fired up, rested, ready to go. Conditions just got good, it's just afternoon. Well, we got to camp, first duty, get a fire going, there's all kinds of wood around, firewood, huh? driftwood everywhere, lots of good small stuff and it's dry, there's driftwood all over small wood but sometimes it's all wet and rotted. That's it from us. Good night. Today was pretty straightforward, uh, lots and lots and lots of paddling, that's all we did. Knocked off 32 kilometers as the crow flies, 
And now we find ourselves within reach of finishing Smallwood uh, tomorrow. Last day of August, we wake up to ice and tent. Rain from last night, frozen. Ice water in my kettle was frozen. Uh, temperature is just over zero. Okay, sack when needs to get out and stretch the legs. So, it calls for uh, a boil of the kettle and a cup of tea. I'm gonna see if this wind calms down because it's still crashing now. And what we have is a southwest wind right smack dab in the face. Better than side on, but it's hard work. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna get any worse. So we still might make uh, the end of Smile today. We might not. I think we might be pinned over here. I don't like the looks of it out there. Things never got any better for us. They actually got worse. The lakes got mad. So we pitched a camp just in here in the bush. Got some good shelter. I'm going to sit down and have a bite to eat now. So I'm sitting back by the fire now. Having a bag of supper. Herbed mushroom risotto. Risotto. Whatever you call it. Whoops, she's tipped over. I just got her laid in the moss. Thought I was there today, hey? Thought I was across Smallwood. It goes to show how unforgiving that lake is, how unforgiving Labrador is, and obviously how unforgiving nature can be at times. No matter how breathtaking and beautiful it is, uh, I thought I was there, and the big one had different plans.
another day. It looks like for the next 24 hours the winds are supposed to be strong, uh, but that could change. So we're gonna sit around and wait. We got visitors. Boys are coming in boat. I don't know if they can get in though, it's pretty rough. Holy moly. Inbounded, we get a visit from a few Labrador boys. They're in the area taking advantage of the prime fishing. Knowing of our whereabouts, they drop in for a chat, cook up, and some refreshments. What's that, Pepsi? Feed going on here now. What do you got, Sue? What do you got, big bit of moose on to go to her dog? This is sick. Onions, it? mushrooms, all the gear. What do you think? What do you think, my buddy? All the best, my buddy. All the best. Dad Logan yes, for coming sir. in. Yes, yes sir, sir, man. Good luck, man. Trevor, Snoop, Daryl. Yeah. Nice meeting you, boys. We'll be yeah. you along, man. Oh, Safe man. ride coming back. It's gonna be a good ride. All right, we're just breaking camp here now. What a swelter of a day already. I'd say it's, I think it read 17 degrees on, uh, on my in-reach weather device. Looks like, I don't want to say it, but a lot more wind coming tomorrow too in northwest, right in the direction we'll be heading if we get off Smallwood. So, with weather on the move, we gotta get on the move too. seen something swimming right across here we're out a good ways it's a black bear he was way out here swimming like these are islands must have came out from the mainland or they must be living on this island really big island here 
let's get closer for a look he took off up in the bush there what do you think Saku? he's almost as good a swimmer as you man I thought it was a beaver it looks a little big his head looks big I tried to sneak up on him but he got a whiff of us that's amazing what a nice little treat this morning you see that black bear swimming come back out would you we have a look at you hey they can swim well that's proof of it right there We've made it to the western side of Smallwood, safe and sound. This is the end of this lake for us. We move on. It was around 200 kilometers. We've seen it in all its beauty. Battled it, loved it, hated it. And uh, I'll have strong memories for years and years to come. But I'm ready to leave it behind. Right now, we got about a quarter of a kilometer to portage over to the next system that heads northwest uh, it's a deep system with current coming against us but we should be able to paddle the whole way with no portaging or lining based on what locals have told us uh, after 100 kilometers of that will come the Menahek Lake I hope that northwest wind which will shoot right down through this next system doesn't cause us too much grief because I can't afford to lose many more days to wind. So, lots of work left to do. Onward we go. Thank you. Come on. Good boy. Let's go. Come on, let's go, come on. Oh, glad that's over with. First time I dragged a canoe in a couple weeks. Not used to it. Especially here in the tropical, tropical Labrador here today. Man. Oh. Yeah, happy to be over. Uh, so I'm gonna have a little boil up now. Didn't eat breakfast this morning. Quick cup of coffee and a uh, little snack and we're on our way up through there. So right here now we're A. Smallwood's over here. We're heading northwest up this system. And that's only the first 50. There's another 50 after this. Somebody's sleepy. Five hours in the boat get you tired, does it? And back to work we go, sec. I got two pairs of shades. Well, we'll say one and a half. These are broken. <laughs> And these are the ones the boys gave me the other day. Boys, you're the best. Thanks again. <sighs> I already broke one pair earlier on. Uh, just crushed it here. Paddle's broken now. Uh, it's not latching in right. It's supposed to click in, but it comes out and then it's twisting around, so the blade's changing its angle. Uh, anyways. But things are always breaking out here, that's part of it. You gotta expect that. And uh, when it comes down to it, generally you can get by without a lot of things. Is what I find, so. We're just coming up now on this next system heading northwest. It's enough to skin you here this morning. It's minus four. 
buddy. And not a snarl. It's snowing out now, if you can tell. The subarctic winter is just around the corner. A few pounds gone. 